Our reporter Ntakwa Nangatani spoke to the Angolan Minister of Justice, Francisco de Querez, on the significance of the repatriation of General Alindo Pena's remains and what this will mean for his family and the country. Já estava a fazer parte desse caminho quando o General Ben Ben. We were victims, as you rightfully said, of external pressures that resulted in conflict. And today we need to reconcile ourselves and find ways in which we can move forward and reconstruct our country, which had a past, we had a past which was complicated, a past as a result of a historic process which generated a lot of division and a lot of injustice. And now we need to correct all of these ills. This gesture that we just finished witnesses, witnessing corresponds they are already part of this new path when general ben ben passed away yes in south africa as a result of illness unita was already part of this path unfortunately we had and lived a period that was perturbed at the time and the situation did not permit for us to do what we are doing today which is to take the mortal remains of our brother, of our compatriot, back, back to our country. Today is something that we have left behind because the environment is different. UNITA is integrated into the Angolan state. It is a party well represented in parliament. And we are working together in the reconciliation. And what can the rest of Africa learn from this gesture between South Africa and Angola, but particularly between UNITA and MPLA? South Africa constitutes for us a point of reference because it had a process of reconciliation and peace which really has resulted in some really good outcomes. We in Angola use South Africa as a reference full of the continent because we have gone through an intense war ourselves all together and this process has happened in a harmonious manner today. We are all participating, those who are part of the war and on opposing side we are all united today to reconstruct a country in a harmonious process. And it's something Africa should look to and extract what this means for unity in each country. Minister, I want you to talk to the members of the family. We have his son here who's 28. He was eight years old when his father passed on. We have a nephew who had to change his name so that he would not be identified with his uncle and the struggle that his uncle went through. You have said that his mother, who is old and ailing, um, has had to deal with this. Talk to the Pena family. Uh, this is the most emotional and moving sight in human tale that we need to pay attention to. The moment and the context in which General Ben Ben passed away was a moment characterized by blockages, tensions, and hostilities. Fortunately, it was a moment that we have now left behind us because today we have an opportunity to be happy an opportunity proportioned by the South African government meant to be together with the family, to reclaim everything that we should have done in the past, especially to confirm on the family the rights that they are entitled to, to deal with this funeral in the way that it needs to be, in the way in which our tradition demands, a way in which our culture demands. We are doing this with the family. We know that it is the family that suffered the most. It is the one that feels the most, uh, how pain was directed to the family, and now solidarity is directed to the family. And this moment of pain, 
we don't need to be consigned with other issues other than the rights and the humanity that we need to be able to prefer to the family, especially the mother. This gesture is executed. We are grateful for having been afforded the opportunity, historically, the opportunity to participate in this. You fought uh, on the opposite side of General Ben Ben. For you, as the Minister of Justice today, for President Joao Lorenzo, do you consider him a hero? We know the gesture that you are showing here today with the army and your delegation coming here with a high power delegation, but do you consider him a hero of Angola? Todos aqueles que All lutaram pela who fought uh, for Angola, Angola so that Angola could have the projection and the respect internationally that we have today, those who fought for the dignity of the Angolan people are great heroes, great nationalists who deserve our utmost deep respect. We respect the fact that they fought that they believed in something and they had the faith that they will be part of something that angola and the angolans become together and pay great respects and what interests us is to recognize this great gesture this nationalist gesture and the effects that they had in the reconciliation of all our country and all our people. General Ben Ben was already part of the Angolan United Armed Forces when he passed away as a general. He was on active duty. He was part of a United Armed Forces. We need to confide all the military honors and we need to respect and commemorate independently of, as with many others who passed away before, as with many others who gave their lives, who bled, all of them deserve our respect. And here, the symbol of that which constitutes the fight that we had. Symbol de daquilo que constitui a luta que se verificou em Angola e erguemos vários símbolos no nosso país. Coito com a naval é um deles. Obrigado. Muito obrigado.